Hey coding owls, welcome back to the channel. I am going to show you how to install Java, how to run, how to set up your Visual Studio code and how to compile and run a Java code. So let's start with very basics of downloading Java first. So go to Google, just say Java download and go up to this website of Oracle. I am for the practicals what we are going to run, I am going to stick to JDK 11. So I'll just go to Java 11 for now, go to Windows and I want to download the Windows uh, this link. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the exact link in the uh, description so you can check it out from there. I want to download this. It might ask me to log in. Okay, let me sign in quickly. Yeah, You might need to create the Oracle account for first time, but it's worth creating it because you, if you need to download or something, it's fine, just let it download. Okay. Once download, let's install this quickly. Simple next, next installation. As your Java is installed, we need to set this up in our class path. And how do we do that? So for that, we'll uh, quickly go to our computer where Java is installed. So I'll go to program files, Java, JDK, bin. And inside bin, you copy this part. So you just right click, you copy, you again, right click on your computer and you say show more options and you want to go to properties. Once you open your properties, go to advanced system settings, environment variables and here you need to add you can just click on path which already exists and edit it and because i was already using it so it must be there somewhere but i will just add it for you just make the entry in path i will say okay and okay that is one part of it once you are done with this step what you need to do is you just need to start your command prompt and type java c enter and if you see this that means your Java path is set. So this is our first step where we find how Java is installed in our machine. Now let's install VS code. So Visual Studio code, you can simply go to VS code download and get the first one. Here you can install it for Windows and it's you don't require to have any account. And once you install it, it is just next, next installation. So once you install this, I will also add this link into the description and uh, yeah, you agree the agreement. Uh, okay. I just like to keep this on. I say next, I say install. It might say that you already have it. Installation done, it finishes, it opens. So I, as I already had it installed, it is opening it for me. So here you can see I have assigned a folder for the work we are going to do. And I open my command prompt from this location. So what you can do is quickly just go to the top window where you, it shows you the address bar and click on it. So it will become editable, delete everything, type CMD. It will open the command prompt for you. And because if you want to in initiate the visual studio code from here, you will type code space dot and it will open Visual Studio code for you with given uh, codes. And uh, next is simple. You can just start writing your Java codes from here. So next, let me show you how do you write and compile and run a Java code. So here I just write basics as a folder name. And inside this, I write a file, hello world dot Java. And after I write hello world.java, let me just simply write class hello world. And inside hello world, I'll increase the font of it. Then I say main. It gives me the option to just uh, generate the main method. And uh, I will say system.out.println. So if you type s o u t, it will give you system.out.println. So here I'll say hello. Welcome to Java. Okay. Now you see here this X colon. Now this X colon is not you are supposed to type. You will get errors. 
this x colon is because it is giving an interlaces that you can basically just keep your this is a you, you have not kept it under a variable and this can be a variable x so this is not something a part of my code it is given to me by visual studio code now there are two ways i can simply run this code from here but i want to show you a simple way what i'll do is i'll go back to my you can open the terminal here i'll show you both the ways in fact you can just go back to the terminal where your codes are so if i say dir enter it says it is basics available folder so i'll just do cd basics which will take me to that basics folder that's how you actually shift your uh, command prompt to go to that location and from here uh, how do you compile so for compiling you say java c space whatever is your file name dot java so once it is compiled you can see that inside my basics i'll do what i'll show it this to you again i am deleting my dot class file because when dot java is compiled it generates a dot class so if i compile and my compilation is successful it will actually generate a dot class file see the dot class file got generated now how do you execute this you will say java space see while compiling it is file name but while executing it is class name but because we have kept our class and file name same we just say java space hello world and no extension of class so this is what we do for java space hello welcome to java this is how you compile it from here and now if you want to do the same things from the terminal how you can do is uh, you go to view you go to view and terminal or you can use control tilt and now again my folder is struck for uh, java practicals i'll shift to basics then i say java c hello world now you see when i type hello h c i just type h e l l and then i press tab if the, because there is only one file which starts with this it gives me that option and it is giving me for dot class i'll just select again if i, if I press tab it will give me for dot java press enter it will it i has already have the java class available then i do java space hello world i'll get rid of dot class because we don't need extension and class not found so see, class not found because while running it is not going to take that dot slash so here if i say with hello world only it will say well hello welcome to java and the best part is when you're running with vs code it gives you this option here but this is only coming in vs code you might not find it in your college computers or somewhere so if you just quickly run on it you say allow see it is running your code for you straight away from here so for it's good for learning you can set it up on your machine so this is how you set up your java and run and execute it so there are two last pointers i want to talk about before we jump into the actual practicals is uh, let's say i have a file by name b.java and in my b.java i write my code like this class a and let it have its own main method i don't have a problem with that i want to show you something and let's say system.out.println i say test a okay i write my file now you see the difference here my class name is a whereas my file name is b.java now how do we compile and run this so when we go for compilation and execution of this what will happen i will go to the folder here in my basics folder i have already created okay where have i created i created it outside actually and here i will open my command prompt you know how to open the command prompt now right and here what i do is uh, java c by rule i'll say b dot java once i do that see the file got compiled but the class file generated by was by what name a dot java a dot class so by rule if i go by if the way i have learned it earlier was what java c hello world dot java java space hello world i don't want to do that i will say java space if i do java space b out of practice it will say it cannot find the class why because the class name will be generated upon what your class was so here if you see my code my class say class name is a so i will go back and i will see here while executing it i will say java space a enter and it will giving me the output of java and a now you see the strike here it is because vs code does not find it's right that you have written a class by name java file by name b but your class is by name a so that is something we need to understand and the next part what i want to talk about is uh, i want to talk about the conventions what are the conventions 
in Java. So I'll just write a class by name conventions. I'm not going to run any practicals on this. But if you have a class, right? Now Java follows two types of convention. Now what are these conventions here? There are multiple types of convention. What we follow in Java, the methods and variables follow camel casing convention. Okay. And your class and interface follow Pascal casing convention. Okay. Now what does that mean? That simply means your class will always start with an upper a, a class or a variable class or interface. Sorry. Will always start with uppercase letter. On other hand, your method or variables will always start with lowercase letter. Plus, if there are any combinations of more than one, for example, the word you want to use is one, two, three, four. Okay, just in basic form. So how this will become in camel casing form? It will become one. First letter always lowercase, then starts with uppercase. So one, two, then the other letter, other word, it will first letter will be uppercase three, then the other word, first letter uppercase four. And on the other hand, the Pascal casing, this is how your camel casing looks like. And on other hand, Pascal casing, how it will be like the first word will be always first word will always start with an uppercase letter. So it will be one, two, three and four. And this is how we write a Pascal casing. So these are some basic things you need to be aware of while you write your Java codes. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. More practicals will be uploaded quite soon. Thank you.